everybody is Jordan. Welcome to a new rain vlog. Um, there, yeah, I took a break from vlogging because if you haven't seen my last rain vlog, I did a 48 hour readathon, which I'm really proud of myself that I've read four books in October. Well, started two but finished two and then read two books in net within 48 hours. I'm really proud of myself for doing that. So, yeah, my reading has been good, but I mean, I I took kind of took I right of it um, slowly just because of that readathon. I didn't want to push myself to keep reading because I was a little exhausted from that readathon. But I want to let you guys know that I'm still currently reading Fast Routine by Margaret Rogerson. I'm on page 201, so I'm halfway through it. I'm really liking it so far. I'm really liking the main character. I'm really liking the world. And I'm just really excited to finish in the next couple of days. And yeah, I think this is a perfect book to read like around Halloween time or in the fall time just because it's about a girl who was a nun and, and her part of her powers is to um, um, make spirits move on into the afterlife. So, yeah, I'm really liking this so far. And also, I've been listening to Aya Book for All the Feels by Aliz Olivia Dade. And I am, like, I'm listening, like I said, I'm listening to Aya Book. I did not put a mark, bookmark in this because it was a library book. So, I'm, I'm on page 148. So, I'm about halfway through it. And I'm really liking it as much as, um, Spoiler alert, that's, this is the companion novel to it. So yeah, usually I don't read um, adult romance on audiobooks just because there are certain sayings that just makes me feel awkward um, hearing someone read that specific scene. But yeah, it's really cute so far and I'm really enjoying them both. That's pretty much it for my reading update other than like uh, what's been happening happy in the past week I was still I know I I'm reading like I said listening to audiobook of all the fields that which I started last week and I was slowly reading Vespertine just because I was in a uh, readathon mojo so yeah I'm still hoping to finish the both of these in the next couple of days I've been playing some video games while listening to all the feels just because well, I like listen to audiobooks while I'm doing something else because it helps me catch up on reading and also doing something I've been wanting to do like chores or playing video games and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it and I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Sorry for not vlogging yesterday. I was just a, a bit of exhausted from work yesterday and I just didn't feel like vlogging. But I am almost done with Vespertine. I'm have about nine pages left of it. I'm on page 289. So yeah, I have about nine pages left. I'll be reading this a bit more tonight. Hopefully I'll finish it, but if not, I'll finish it tomorrow. So yeah, I haven't listened to my audiobook, but I will be working on it tomorrow on my way to work and, and on my way home if I feel like it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my reading update I've just been <laughs> a little like exhausted from work like I said and I've just been doing a lot of video planning I'm trying to figure out what videos I want to do the rest of the month because I kind of took a break from filming but also because I've just been haven't been inspired to film recently so I'm trying to figure out ideas I want to do and uh yeah, it's just this week's been, I mean, so far this week it's been okay-ish, so. But I do hope to finish um, Vespertine, like I said. And there's supposed to be a second book of it, but um, the author, and uh, Margaret Rogerson, hasn't announced, like, when the sequel is coming out yet. I know she has, a like, a little novella sequel to Sorcerer of, Thor Sorcerer of Thorns, which I just heard about, and I'm really excited about that because I really enjoyed it, and I'm trying to remember why I rated it. I either gave it four or five stars because I think that one's, that was my favorite out of the ones that she wrote, but after Rain Vespertine, I think this is my 
favorite out of hers just because I really like the world and I really like the characters and yeah and plus I but like this is basically almost like a, a fancy world with ghosts and that's what I like about it so yeah enough rambling for me and I'll catch you guys later hey everyone happy Thursday I finished fast routine last night I really enjoyed it I give us five stars or four and a half stars I'm trying to remember on top of my head but I really like the characters I really like the world and I just really enjoyed the story and I know there's supposed to be a sequel coming out but um the author hasn't announced it yet like I mentioned earlier in this vlog if I have you know right but I'm really excited uh, about that and and I just found out that the like a sequel to Sorcerer of Thorns is coming out early next year so I'm definitely gonna be picking that up so yeah this is definitely my favorite from Margaret Rogerson so I've worked on my Aya book for all the feels I'm trying to remember where I'm at in the Aya book right now so I'm on uh let's see so yeah I'm 15 chapters or 16 chapters in where I'm at uh I'm at yeah I'm halfway through it so I'm really enjoying that as well and this morning I decided to pick up Hocus Pocus and y'all new sequel I know this came out like four years ago but I've been this has been on my TBR for a very long time and I've been wanting to pick it up and I know the sequel is not the same as the sequel that just came out so I just want to read it and um see what happens and I'm just I just love the movie and I literally just started it this morning I'm only on like page 10 so yeah I'm still enjoying it even though it's basically the movie but it, it's kind of the story dynamics in this one is be different than the other one because in the, like the first half is the movie so yeah I'm just excited to continue on with it. the book because I do want to read this and yeah and I know like I said I know the sequel is different in this one versus the actual movie but I've just been curious about it and I just been wanting to pick it up I know I picked this up before by DNF did like a few years ago so yeah I'm gonna pick this continue reading that today and also I just found out that I got packages so I thought I would open them I'm gonna start off with the one at the top because it's from Half Price Books and so I do sometimes order a book from Half Price Books but these cardboard packages I they they suck in my opinion because they always like they don't rip easily and they just and I always I'm afraid to end up cut um, breaking a nail so yeah I'm just gonna open it this ow oof. oh boy and I'm hoping not to get a paper cut either because that would stick <sighs> maybe I should use scissors before I get any more yeah thankfully I have scissors right here so I'll just try to cut it open instead of ripping it because I do not want to get a paper cut or break a nail this it, this is much easier so okay okay got it open so in the first package I got the Dream Runners by uh, Shavia Thakara, and this is the same author as the Star Daughter, which I was one of my favorite books in 2020. I think did that? Yeah, that came out in 2020. So yeah, and this is um her latest one. This is about a group of people who um are trying to steal um memories by people's dreams in this world, and that's. All I know about it and I just liked her writing so much that I want my own copy of this and I'm just really excited to pick it up oh wow it's the title is so shimmery I like it and it's kind of shiny so yeah I'm excited about that and the other package that I got is from shop Disney and I just thought might as well show you why 
got from that. I'm also like uh, just got a couple of shirts and um and I got myself a hat because I I bet gay to hats again because I haven't worn a hat in a long time and I found a hat that I really wanted when I, when Kevin and I were there for our honeymoon and I didn't get it for some reason. So yeah. that I got two shirts I forgot to mention that and the first one I got is this Thor shirt I thought it looks really cool I thought about getting this for my mom but she didn't like the design of it so I'm like you know what since I like it I'll buy it for myself so yeah and I don't have a Thor shirt I only have a um, a shirt that features Thor and Thor is one of my favorite Marvel characters so I'm glad I got a new shirt I'm just gonna set that there for now and then another shirt that I got is Kevin got it and I wasn't sure it was going to look good on me and funny thing is a lot of people thought I bought the same thing and so he and I would match and I didn't think it would look good on me and since I tried it on and I actually looked good in it and I saw it was at Shop Disney I was like might as well get it. So yeah and it's from the Disney Folk Collection. It's a, like a collage um, like stickers of different characters and I just really like the design of it and in case you get that now Kevin's my husband and he owns this shirt and now he and I can match and now I know I look good in it I thought about buying this at Disney but I was doubting that I would look good in it like I mentioned but yeah happy about that okay and the last thing I got like I mentioned is a hat so I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I get it out of the plastic. <laughs> so yeah, here it is. I, I just really like the design of it and it's for the 50th anniversary since Disney is still celebrating its 50th anniversary until the end of March. So yeah, I got that hat, but I'm gonna try on, see how it looks good on me. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. But I know I'm going to need to make it a bit tighter, but I I love this hat already. So I'm glad that I got myself this hat. I'm going to make this a bit tighter so it'll fit better on me, but I should probably double check just to make sure because I have a literally, I don't have a big head. So yeah, I really like I really like it. I'm glad I bought it. And I know there was another one that I want to get, but I'm just going to Hold off on getting it. So, yeah, if you see me in my any Disney outfits in my videos, just don't be surprised I put this on me at random. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it of all my reading updates and new stuff updates, I guess, because I just couldn't resist. And yeah, I should grab myself some dinner because I'm hungry and it's been an exhausting day at work. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Sorry for not vlogging yesterday. I've just been really exhausted at work and I just didn't do much but just uh, relax a bit. And I did read more of Hocus Pocus and all new sequel and I'm on page 50. So yeah, I didn't read a lot last night but I'm hoping to read more of it today hopefully. Like maybe pass, maybe try to read 200 pages of this. So yeah, I'm gonna read this a little bit before I go see my family. It's like there's some family si uh, family members I haven't seen since my wedding, so I'm excited to see them. So I'm gonna try to read a little bit of this, and I probably will try to listen to more of all of Feel's audiobook on my way there and back, so I could get some of that done because I have like nine hours of audiobook. Of it so I might do try to listen to more of it tomorrow while I'm playing video games so that's my goal for the weekend and yeah I'm just trying to get things done before I head over to my family gathering thing and yeah and I'll catch you guys later
Hey everybody, it's much later. I did read a little bit of Hocus Pocus when I got home and now I'm on page 60, no 77. So I'm still working my way through this. I'm gonna probably will stay up as much as I can and get some rain done. I didn't listen to an eye book or anything on my way to my family gathering or on a way back just cause I was just having a good time with my family and I just didn't want to be like rude or anything. I don't know. I'm just, I just didn't feel like listening to an audio book, but I know I probably will be playing field games while listening to all the feels. I might read it physically for a bit and then listen to it some more. I don't know yet. And I honestly forgot to mention that I did watch Hocus Pocus 2 finally after like two weeks it's been released and I know it's not the same as the sequel like from this book but I still want to watch it and I honestly really enjoyed it it's very weird to say it I mean I at first I was when the original Hocus Pocus came out I was honestly terrified of it when I was a kid but then as I got older I'm just really enjoy it like I didn't watch like the whole thing I only saw part of it when I was a kid and then that like scared me but then when I got older I watched it and I actually really enjoyed it and I know some people don't like it and I could see why because my sister who's one of those people really didn't enjoy it but I don't blame I mean she everybody has a right to have their own opinion but I could see why my sister didn't like it she said it's basically the original movie but just a little they ch had a few changes here and there, but I, I still enjoyed the film. I really liked how they have the origin story of the Sanderson sisters. That's why I really liked about it. When I saw it in a trailer, I'm like, oh, I, I, I just like a good origin story from different characters. So I'm, I'm just, I really enjoyed the film. I, and I know some people didn't, well, my sister didn't like, like the ending just because Spoilers, I'm not going to say anything, but I just, I'm like, what? Uh, so, I mean, I don't blame her for not liking it. I mean, for me personally, I enjoyed it. And, and I know Kevin, my husband, in case I didn't um, mention it, um, it's not a fan of Hocus Pocus. That's why he didn't watch it. So, but I did let him know what I think about it because he knows I'm a Hocus Pocus fan and... <laughs> And he's not, so he want to hear from my opinion. So I'm not sure if he's gonna give it a try, but I'm not gonna push him anyway. So um, other than that, that I just I honestly got distracted. I was gonna I was reading Hocus Pocus, and then I got distracted by Afterlife, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, and I just and I just found out that the sequel is coming out next year and I'm really excited about that because I really enjoyed that movie when Kevin and I saw it last year and I'm just, I'm a, a Ghostbusters fan so I'm just really enjoy it. Yeah, I'm gonna do so, some rain sprints. Yeah, Melanie from Completely Melanie is doing some rain sprints. So I'm gonna join that and read some more Hocus Pocus and I'm gonna stay up as much as I can so I get a lot of rain done because I feel like this week is, I mean, I did finish Fast 14, which is an important thing for me. I just want to get through Hocus Pocus so I could get to the sequel, even though Hocus Pocus 2 is not, the sequel from this has nothing to do with the movie, but, and I'm still curious about it since it was released four years ago when the movie celebrated its 25th anniversary. So I'm still curious about that. So. Yeah, I'm gonna get some rain done and I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I've read a little bit more of Hocus Pocus last night. I got to page 113, so almost halfway point, but it's still I'm still at the movie right now and then hopefully I'll get to the sequel um, um, today. And then um, this morning I've read a bit more of all the feels or listen to the audio book I should say I'm uh I'm like about halfway 
point of it, but let me check. Yeah, I'm a, I'm halfway point on the audiobook, so yeah, it's hard to see that I'm halfway through it, but I am halfway through it, so I'm going to be working on listening to that today while I'm playing video game, and I'm going to be working on Hocus Pocus today. So, uh, that's my plan for today is to film two videos uh, today and get some more reading done. So, uh, just because I was having a relaxing day today and spending time with my family, so I'm going to try to get that done as much as possible. And, yeah, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, everybody, as much later, I've read more of Focus Focus this morning, and I'm on page 230, so halfway through the book, and just started the the sequel, and I'm, I'm honestly, like, after reading a few chapters of it, I don't know, I really, I am liking it so far, I just find it weird, like, how they, like, literally, like, remind you, like, who, which character is, uh, which Class Beta of Poppies is which character from the original movie. I find that interesting. I mean, it takes place 25 years after the main movie in 2018. They literally mentioned that because it was 25 years later because it was their 25th anniversary. And I find it interesting um, where the characters were at 25 years later versus in the original movie because um, Max and Allison were in high school while um, Danny was like, and um second or third grade when um the original story happened and then and of course 25 years later to see how they're doing i know they mostly mention like uh what max is now like he's a history teacher which is very interesting and then um allison i forgot what uh what kind of job she has and and their daughter poppy like knows the whole like their adventures and all that but she didn't want to tell anybody because either they don't believe her or she just would feel embarrassed about it. And I could see her perspective on it. Like, like if you if if you know someone who knows the true story of the whole scenario, of course you would be embarrassed that they, you know the truth. Well, everybody's probably only known like the rumors or something like that, or they don't want to talk about the history with the Anderson sisters, which. And and it's not spoiler, it's kind of like the whole premise of the sequel. And I know many people probably wanted that versus like the actual Hocus Pocus sequel, but but it's kind of nice for me to read it, even though I should have read it like four years ago when it actually came out. But for someone who likes Hocus Pocus, like so far the sequel is I don't know. I'm I only read like maybe two chapters so far and I will obviously I will read more of it to give you my full opinion about it. Even though I I love Hocus Pocus like the original story, but we shall see. Yeah, I'm currently waiting for my camera to charge so I can film the second video I need to film. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. much later I listen to a lot of all the feels I have like two and a half hours left in it I have book yeah it's really hard to see but I have two and a half hours left so I'm gonna end this vlog here oh before I forget I'm still working on Hocus Pocus I'm on page let me see what page I'm on uh let's see I'm on page 314 so I have like about 200 pages Left this, but I know I'll finish this in the next couple of days. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to end this vlog here. But at least I finished one book this week, which is Vaspertine. And I gave that five stars. And still working on these two. So yeah, and 
those two I will finish later this week. And yeah, um, if you enjoy this reading vlog, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you're currently reading at the moment. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and click the bell icon, bell icon so you know if I were to post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <music>